Let's talk about how to find the area for a regular pentagon. I'll make one first. Here's a segment. I'm going to highlight this, make it the center. Highlight this, do some rotations. 72 degrees this direction. You can continue that process. 72 degrees again. You might say, how do we know that? That's because we know that a pentagon, 360 divided by 5, would give you 72 degrees each time. And then we can connect the ends of those segments, and we end up with a regular polygon, five sides. And we can then change its orientation and change its size if we wish. So let's go about finding the area for this thing. One of the things we'd have to do to decide to figure out the area is how long is each side length. So let's suppose that I pick a side length, we'll call it 16. Now, if that side length is, is 16, if we were to take the midpoint on this and then make a little segment that goes from here to here, we should be able to figure out how long this segment is and then how wide this segment is. If we know the height of this triangle and we know the width of this triangle, we can do the area of that triangle by taking one half the base times the height. Well, one of the things that we also knew is that each of these angles in here was 72 degrees. And that 72 degrees is going to be broken in half right here. So that 72 degrees, if we were to move it down to here, what would that size be? That would be 36 degrees, half of that 72. Now that 36 degrees, squeeze that in right there, is just that angle up there. And we know that this angle down here is a right angle because when we drew the perpendicular to this midpoint, this is a, an isosceles triangle, and that would definitely be a perpendicular angle. So we can use the cosine, or the tangent, or the sine function. Since x is across from the 36 degrees, that would be opposite. And we know that 16 is the entire side length, so this little piece right here would be half of the side length, which would be 8. So we can use the opposite side being 8 to be able to find this height, or the apothem. So we can use the tangent function, opposite over adjacent would be 8 over a, and we get this. And there's a trick we've learned which allows us to take what's the denominator on this side and swap it with what's ever on the other side of the problem. So a comes over here and the tangent 36 comes down here, and we just need to use our calculator. And when we put that into our calculator, we get an answer. Of, looks like this when you put it into the calculator, and we get an answer of 11.0111. So to get the area of the triangle, we do one half of the base area, base length, which is 16, times the height, which is we figured out to be 11.01, .01, and we'd plug in this formula. And there is the area for that one triangle. Now you might notice that there are five triangles there. So that ends up being our final area for the overall pentagon.